is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon Raptor Patrick, back at it again, and welcome back to some more Subnautica. Okay, so I did record a video of this about a couple days ago, and it took about seven hours to render, and when it was done rendering, the video came out to be all choppy. So I figured out that it was the settings of my Elgato HD60, and in spite of that, it looked like crap. So I'm not going to be uploading that one, and honestly, it wasn't really much besides me going around and going to all the live pods. And then for about 10 minutes, I was, like, talking about, like, theories that had nothing to do with anything. But, Shatid, shut up. God, I hate you sometimes. Anyway, so, while I was recording that actually video, I managed to get the Sea Lemons, um, storage module. So now that's inside of it. And I probably should get some food, that way Shithi doesn't have a heart attack. Now that that's out of the way, we are going to be trying to build the scanner room. However, I need to go around... Ominous music. This isn't the time. Anyway, so as I was saying, we need to go around and get some gold and some copper, and then we should be good to go on that. So I'm gonna take the sea mobs because I don't want to waste power on this thing. Shithid, it's every 10 seconds that you have to say something. For once, just be quiet so I can focus. Whenever you don't need gold, you get it. Cindy! No! 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 I will toss your salad! Come back here! I'll beat your ass! I tossed your salad! I got homeboys too! I'm probably gonna put the scanner room over there, and then I'll probably just start building in front of that. Cause that's really the last thing I need that I can- that I have for scannables, that I could put- that is in multi-purpose. From there, I'll probably just start building up. Uh, I need to save one more time. I'm also gonna repair you. I just put water in me. Oh my gosh. Shoot, dude. Sometimes. Someday. Finally got that. Who? Who is Sandy's right there? Well, I got what I needed. Now let's move. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't hear Sandy because he was right above me. And if I didn't, if he came any closer, I probably would have died. So it's a good thing I looked up. What the heck's going on? Some crazy stuff's happening. See, yeah, there's like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? What in tarnation? What is this? Alright, hold on. I do not know what that what was going on. But I guess someone messed with my settings. Okay, okay now I got the scanner room. Okay. Ah, <sighs> sheesh. Also, I need to make sure that I um cut some of you guys. Then I need to put some stuff in my planner here. So I have more. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And eat that. Right now, right. I'm gonna say it one more time. That way Shadid will shut up. So I can find lead, limestone. Ooh. Wait, can I? Oh, I can find Rex too? And it looks like we have a message as well. Um, okay. This might be Sunbeam. This might be the story for the Sunbeam. Not quite sure. Sunbeam. We've made orbit, and scans have found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Guys, really? I, I'd rather you guys not come, because you guys are going into a suicide mission. But I can't remember if I unlocked a blueprint for it. Hold on, let me check that. Uh, yeah, I haven't even found the propulsion cannon, and I don't have the stasis rifle either, do I? Yeah, no, I don't. So I need to unlock both of those then. Hey, Mark Flower, how you doing, buddy? Oh my god. I'm kind of debating of what I want to do uh, for the rest of the base, because I kind of want to do a lot more base building. 
Um, so do I want to start building upwards? Because I know I need to wave till morning because I don't really want to get out of here at this point. Um, Alright, um, I will be back when it's morning because I'll probably have an idea by then. Okay, um, it's not morning yet, but I, I was thinking about this and I'm kind of debating if I want to go towards to find some more wrecks. Um, I know where there, there was one by like, by Joki Kassar's, um, the emissary, um, area over there by Life Pod 13. I think that's where we were, right? Yeah, I think it was over that way. Also, I need some water. Alright, guys. So, actually, what what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go back through the what I did in the previous time I was recording uh, with the uh, Aurora Survivors. Okay, so I was going to read uh, Life Pot 13 to you guys. This is Joki Kassar's, the emissary. So, I'm going to read every little detail. So, it says, Life Pod Systems Online. Passenger 07, Emissary Joki Kassar has boarded the Life Pod. Life Pod launch sequence initiated. Life Pod detached from the Aurora. Okay. So, that right there tells you that Joki Kassar had the same fate as we did in the beginning. So, Kassar said, My creators, the cherishers, and sustainers of worlds... Give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Entering planetary atmosphere, external temperature approaching critical levels. Kassar says, show me the path in life, truth, and love. For mine is the power, I am the one, on and off again. External, exterior hole damage sustained. Life support systems failed, impact imminent. Kassar, life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh returned me. Okay, so, that gives me an idea. It's probably inaccurate, but what if we're Joki Kassar? Maybe the Life Pod 13 is just there to throw us off. Maybe we're Joki Kassar. Because, I mean, it's it was the same difference as we had in the beginning. Maybe we just had a different Life Pod. I don't know. And then if we go to Life Pod 17... Um, this one's kind of depressing. But anyway, it says, Ozzy's Log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if rocks or aliens, and there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one is coming for me. Okay, so, if you judge by the second paragraph here, Ozzy is depressed. He's not, like, his normal self, because they had everything they needed. They had a cinema, a gym, a cafe. To him, that was his home. It felt like home to him. And now that we're stranded, it's not. So, c did he kill himself? Like, that's a thought that I have to question. Okay, live pod four now. So it says to any Altera crew, landed in an area of significant alien activity, encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive, special scope scanner assigned species designator Reaper. Uh, one specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. So, like, honestly, life pod four. They probably did not survive, because they were attacked by a reaper. I mean, that whole thing explained how deadly reapers are. And the fact that he tried to swallow their whole life pod. Like, there's so many reasons of how we landed here and no one else survived. Like, why is it that way? How? Uh, either way... Um, I'm gonna stop talking about this now because now I have stuff that I want to do. I know there was a wreck over here. But I, I remember there was also a warning about a uh, reaper attack or whatever. Can't remember this is the area that it was, uh. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna let stuff load 
real quick. They kind of need to. Okay, I think it was Life Pod 19 where, where the where the Reaper warning was, perhaps. Oh god, the ominous music. Oh. Is that a- Oh yeah, there's the wreck. Okay. Now, obviously. I need to get out. I'm gonna turn off the engine. engine. Now I'm gonna get in the sea moth. Cause it's not worth dying. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> well, if I would have known when I left my sea moth all the way back there, I probably would already be out of here. Shit, dude! That was probably the biggest brain fart I've ever had in my life. And the fact that I just realized it when I got over there. Wait, I can't remember if I went to uh, Life Pod 3, actually. Did I? Alright, hold on. Stop. No, it doesn't look like I did. Here, let's make a quick detour then. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody home? Oh look, a data box. A banded PDA. And a data box. Ooh, what's in it? Compass? Why did I why do I keep doing that? Why? 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 And why, Stocky? Why do you gotta be a little butthole? Why? Chithy, you have really gotten to the point that I really just want to break the game. Not even that. Like, I just wanna put a muzzle on you, because all you do is nag. And honestly, that is more annoying than anything I've ever played in a game. Like, you don't need to notify me every time of something that is about to happen to me. Like, I know. Why don't you use that, that naggy sass for something useful? Like, maybe a, a leviathan nearby. Maybe that'll be more helpful than you just sitting around and telling me that I need water and food every five minutes. Alright, you guys. Um, I'm actually gonna have to end this video off here. Um, there, there's a reason why I'm gonna end it here in the first place. It's because I really don't want to stay on long enough for the sunbeam to get here, and then I don't want it to be at the last second. So, I know there wasn't really much more to this video. And it's due to the fact that it's just like, I'm not like, there. Like, my heart's like, pumping and everything. And, I, I can't do a lot more of this at this point, because I don't really have much to do. Because I need to find the propulsion cannon, and now I don't know where, the, where that is. And I also need to get to the Rex. So, I want to be able to go to the Sunbeam again. Because I kind of want to witness it again because it's still freaking cool to see. But like, I, I don't want to do that in this episode. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to show by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, fight that subscribe button like a champion. But as always, I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.